Boom. Hey YouTube. So uh my buddy Adrian on YouTube asked me to do a review on the um disc brakes on the EC4. So this is a six month review. I got these back in April. Um I'm gonna show you what the pads look like and then we'll talk about what's going on with the trailer. So let me get them out for you. And mind you, it's very easy to change these. I mean, as opposed to changing the drums, that's an all day thing and very costly. So I got, you know, that's about halfway. So that's about 50%. So you'll get, I'm not gonna say a whole year out of these pads, but you're gonna get at least nine months out of them. These are a standard GM pad that you get. You can get these from AutoZone. If you cross-reference that number, KTC 7600, um, you can get these from AutoZone. I think they're $30 a pair. So you gotta think, each axle will cost you $30. So you're gonna spend $90 in pads. When you're doing backing plates and uh, drum brakes, I think it's, I think you spend $90 just for the backing plate or it's $70 just for the backing plate each. So you're spending probably about $300. Um, and that's if you don't have to change your drums. You're spending about $300 on, on doing a brake job and them brakes don't even last that long. So this is amazing right here. So let me stick this back in here and then we'll talk about how, how this thing stops. we're done the longest thing about that whole situation was taking the wheel off so that's amazing if it was drum brakes you got to snip wires um you got to re-splice the wires you got to take off the five bolts that hold the back in plate um it, it's then you have to uh deal with the bearings this i don't have to deal with the bearings change the pads slap them back in done so that's one thing that saves time and money next thing is stopping um, with this thing fully loaded, I could lock this thing up on the highway from going 70 miles an hour. I mean, cars would fly off the top of this thing. That's how good these brakes are. I've never turned it up past four and a half on my brake control. With my drum brakes, every month I was going up. I was turning up the brake controller another notch, another notch, to the point where just to feel the trailer grabbing, I had it on like six or seven. If I had weight on it, I had it on like eight. So, and those, and those things ate up quick and they got hot. When you walk past the wheel, you could feel the heat coming off. Um, I spent three grand on this kit, or I think it was like 3,200 on this kit, and then another 750 to install them. So I'm around four grand, 3,800 to four grand doing all these breaks. Yesterday I got on uh, Kaufman's website because I was just looking for something else. I can't remember what I was looking for. I was looking for the, the winch motor. Anyway, and they sell, they're they selling the kit now for $18.50. I could have got this whole kit for $18.50 with the pump. I don't know if it comes with the lines, but I'm guessing it does. Um, so I kind of messed up on that. Um, but man, I wish I would have bought it from coffee. And it bolts right on. I also had to use the spacer. I don't know if it's because of this kit, the Kaufman, you might not need the spacer uh, if you get it from Kaufman, but I had to put the spacer on here because if I slap the wheel on there, the wheel hits the caliper. So that spacer alleviates that. Shout out to my buddy Adrian. I appreciate you asking for this video. That was a good idea, man. Thank you. Y'all hit the like button up, subscribe, and I appreciate the love. Everybody. Take care. Boom.